In this video we are going to use the insert record form wizard to um, create a form that will allow us to update this table. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new document. And again we want it to be a PHP. We need to make sure we've got a database, set up the bindings to that. and save our document and we'll call it insert records now we'll go back to that wizard connection the table now when it says after inserting go to and this is where we'll go back to that document that we've created that is displaying our records and so now what we want to do is we do not want it to display the the key code so that if you recall when we looked at the database the key field for this table is customer numbers so we simply click minus on that so now we go ahead and choose OK and you notice that it creates a table here and that table includes a hidden fill field and what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and uh, test this so we're going to preview this in the browser and if it asks you if you want to upload those and save them yes you do want to and that is going to bring you this document now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and insert some test data and I'll do that and then be right back. So I've populated that with data and now I want to choose insert record. And then after I click the submit button it brings me to this customer records page and I'm going to go to the last page because that allows me to see the last record that was entered and you will see the information that I just entered. So that means that we have had success. So I'm going to go back to the first. And so what we need to do is we need to make a link to from this insert new record so that we can then uh, use that page that we just created to insert new records. So I'm going to come back to the new records page. I'm going to select insert new record. And I am going to use a simple hyperlink in order to link that to this other page. At the moment I have live view on so you gotta turn that off and then that will bring back the properties window and I'm simply gonna browse to the file customer records. Oh, actually I'm not gonna browse to customer records because that's a circular loop. I'm going to insert records and that will allow me to go to the, the proper page. So I'm going to save all those synchronize. Now when I go back to the page and reload it, I've got the link to the insert new record page. And again, when I choose insert record, and when we submit, the, when we click the submit button, it shows up on the last page, Tom's bikes. So we've got that ability to uh, insert those new records. Now let's look at how do we update records and how do we delete them. Let's uh, go to the first things first. Let's look at how to delete a record, and we will cover that in the next video.